Thank you for watching this demonstration video on how to apply ions, reflective iron-on decals. In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to apply ions so you can apply them yourself at home. My name is Claire, and this is a product that's designed to be a safety product, but also fun because they come in all sorts of fun designs. The one I have chosen here is my little runner girl, but you have all, all kinds of different other designs on the website, and the website address is www dot iondesigns dot ca and I'll give the address again at the end of the video. So let's get started. Set your iron on a medium setting and wait for it to heat up and make sure that the steam setting is turned off. That's important. I've already done this so I'm ready to go. So you want to lay the garment flat, press it lightly in the area where you're going to apply the ion just to get out any moisture and wrinkles. So now it's time to apply the ion. I'm going to give you a couple of tips on placement. You'll want to avoid placing the ion on or near seams or stitching because that will affect how it adheres to the garment. You also want to avoid any places where there is a lot of stretch in the garment, especially if the garment is tight fitted. So now it's time to actually apply the ion. A couple of tips first. If the ion is larger than the iron, which it is in this case, you will iron it in sections, making sure that each section gets an equal amount of heat. The other thing is Im that's important is to make sure that the edges get enough coverage. They are easy to miss, but that's where the design will peel if it does not get enough heat. So, now we're going to apply the ion, and I'm going to put the iron directly on it. Some people think that you need a light towel, you need to cover it with a light towel, but that's not necessary. If you feel more comfortable doing that, though, you will need to keep the iron on the garment a bit longer with a bit more heat. So, I'm going to move the iron back and forth uh, or in small circles, and I'm going to do each section for about 20 to 25 seconds. So, it's just going to take a little while. You want to make sure, as I said before, that you get all the edges and then you get even heat. And when I'm done that section, I'm going to move on to the next section. Now, when you start to peel it off, don't freak out if you haven't cut, if uh, it's not totally peeling off like you planned. You can just take the iron to it again a little bit and, um, and start peeling again. So, when you're done ironing it, you want to let the ion cool a little, little bit. 20 to 30 seconds is fine. It's mostly just so you don't burn your fingers but sometimes the fabric needs to sit for just a few seconds as well. So now you can start to peel off the plastic. Go easy at first. Once it gets started, it should be fairly easy to remove, but if you, keep, if you come to another section, you want to be careful again. So I'm just stuck a little bit. One of the corners didn't get enough heat, and that's one of the issues that you might come across. So I'm just going to give it a little bit more heat because the head's coming off really well, but the hand just didn't come off like it should have. So I'm going to put a little more heat on it. And this time I'm going to start peeling from a different section. So that's coming off really nicely now. So once it starts to peel, you just go slowly, making sure that everything is coming off. If it doesn't come off in one particular area, you can see that I started in a different area. And sometimes just letting it sit a little bit longer or coming at it from a different area makes all the difference and it will adhere properly. And I'm almost done on the elbow. There. So now the plastic is now that the plastic is removed, you simply iron it again for 15 to 20 seconds, going in sections like you did before. And there you have it. You have a shirt that's been customized for you, and you'll now be more visible than you ever were before. So I will give you the email, the website address again. It is www.iondesigns.ca. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoy your ions, and uh, thank you very much. Be safe and have fun.